What's up guys, Tao here. Uh, welcome to the second part of the uh, workstation uh, rebuild. Uh, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys uh, how to install the Mac OS 10.13.5. Uh, as of this video, uh, that's the latest High Sierra. Uh, I'll be installing onto this uh, re newly built uh, workstation. Uh, if you guys are interested, please stay around. Before we go ahead, I just want to mention that all credits go to the uh, Hacking Dash community. Uh, again, without that uh, community or without communities, uh, this video won't be possible and Hacking Dash basically it won't be possible. So yeah, uh, please head to the community and have a look and learn. Uh, I'm sure you will learn a lot um, from the community. For this OS installation video, I will try to make as simple as possible so you guys won't have any trouble to follow. And there are so many uh, little tweaks after the installation in the post installation. But today's video, I'll be focusing on to make the system functional and uh, mainly just focus on uh, to work with the Final Cut Pro together with the RX480. So bear that in mind. There are four main steps involved. Uh, number one is the USB installer creation. Uh, number two is the BIOS setting. Uh, number three is the actual system installation. And uh, number four is the post installation, uh, which are those tweaks uh, I mentioned early on in this video. For the first step, uh, you will need to have access to a Mac uh, computer. So you can download the 10.13.5, uh, uh, the High Sierra. Uh, which is uh, the latest edition as of this video. And the method to create the uh, USB installer will be the Unibist. Uh, after you uh, download High Sierra, this window will open not automatically. Uh, make sure you close this window and you will need also a USB stick, uh, something like this, uh, minimum eight gig. Now in terms of the stick, I personally would stress you if your case has USB 3, uh, use the USB 3 stick and um, it's a lot faster uh, in my experience anyway. So you just plug the USB into the uh, USB and it should detect. And if it's not been formatted, uh, make sure you go into disk utility and format it and to the Mac journal and just give any names so and then just erase after that uh, just open Unibist and that actually will detect uh, the OS you just installed so select the USB there and select High Sierra and make sure to select the UEFI boot mode uh, that is the uh, easiest way and uh, do not tick any of those just click on continue now this is the overall view uh, untitled, that's the USB stick, High Sierra, and this is the bootloader, which is the UEFI uh, boot mode. And click continue, type in your password. And I think that's my password, yes. Uh, nope. Oh my god. I can't remember my password. Okay, so that will. Uh, do its own thing. Eventually, it will uh, finish. Right. The next step is the bio setting. Uh, before that, there are two. Uh, there are a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, one is, uh, I will suggest you uh, unplug all the unnecessary connections just to avoid potential uh, issues. Now, number two is if you do use the M.2 SSD. Now, there are two M.2 uh, slots on this board uh, Z370 Gaming. There's a very important thing. Uh, the M.2 SATA underneath the graphics card uh, shared the same bandwidth uh, with the SATA 0 on this motherboard. Uh, if you use quite regularly, uh, do a large data transfer, uh, the performance may be affected. So bear that in mind. Right, in the BIOS, uh, the only couple of things really need to look out for. Uh, the number one is if your motherboard comes with 
uh, F6 or maybe anything below the F8, I would strongly suggest you upgrade the BIOS to the latest. Uh, at this uh, time of the video is F8. Uh, so you can see here, this is the F8. And the second one is really, if you want to use the internal graphics at the same time with the uh, RX 480 or dedicated graphics card, uh, the setting is quite important. Uh, make sure you set uh, the initial display output to the uh, PCIe slot. And also there is another option we'll tell you is the internal graphics. So make sure this is enabled. So uh, the uh, internal and dedicated can work uh, together. Now for the convenience of, this, of the installation, I personally will strongly, again, strongly suggest you choose the uh, primary boot option or boot drive to the USB stick you just created. Um, my experience was if you don't do this, you're gonna keep uh, press the, the keys on the keyboard. So that kind of really annoying um, when I tried it. So if you uh, change this to the uh, USB stick, so every time when you boot it, a, it will just boot from the USB stick automatically because it's gonna reboot two to three times. So that's gonna, you know, save you some time. All right, this is the window you will see uh, the first time you boot from the uh, USB installer. And uh, that actually is the USB. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the uh, installation screen of the system. So from here we choose English, choose whatever language is. Now we're gonna use the uh, disk utility. And th from here, uh, we will need to uh, format the, the system drive for this instance is the 256 gig M.2 on the uh, SATA uh, M.2 slot. Um, now just erase Mac journal, we can give a name saying oh, no, test. Uh, wow. Well, it's the bloody thing. Test. Okay, the reason I'm typing so slow, I'm using one of those. So yeah, it's not really easy to use. And enter, the erase. So this will erase the entire um, SSD. Uh, now one tip though, if make sure the entire SSD or entire system drive is one single physical partition. So after you close it and choose install OS, and it will just keep going, continue, agree, and choose the system drive we just created and click on install. Okay, this is the first reboot. See, it says install from test. Second reboot, and again, choose the same, install from test, third restart. This time, we choose from boot from macOS test. Okay, here we go. Now this is the, uh, the final stage of the installation. Voila, you are in the desktop. Okay, when you reach this stage, uh, uh, will this actually will be the post installation? So the method we'll be using is the multi beast as uh, the 10.3.0. Uh, this is the uh, latest version as of this video. Uh, yeah, this is the overall view um, to be installed, and then you just click on install and agree your password uh, test. Uh -oh. Okay, that's it. Just wait for it to be installed. Okay, it is finished. Now the next step is to install the Apple ALC. Uh, now um, Apple recommend to install any third-party driver into the 
a folder under the library. Let me just uh, do this so I can access them easily. So, so the, the recommend install any third party extension to the library and extension here it is so we will be installing apple alc and authenticate uh, okay now the next step use the uh, kext utility now i mainly just use this for uh, repairing the permission and rebuild cache so I don't really use this for anything else um, I've been using this for a long time so it's quite efficient it's straightforward um, and also in the meantime I'll suggest you copy the Clover configurator into application and so it's gonna make your life a little bit easier in the next step Okay, this is after the reboot. Technically speaking, we have a working Hackintosh. Uh, now, we are not going to stop here. Uh, in order to take full advantage of the RX480 within the Final Cut Pro uh, for the hardware encoding, hardware uh, acceleration, uh, we will be doing some tweaks within the Clover configurator. So, you just open that uh, and um, mount a partition, which is the EFI uh, partition, and here, uh, we'll have a folder called Clover and here is the config uh, playlist. So from there, we can tweak the entire OS. And let me zoom in a little bit. Um, okay, hopefully you guys can see it. Now, there are a few things uh, we need to tweak. Firstly is the ACPI. Um, Okay, actually, it's not within this. There's the DSDT patch, so you need to change this to uh, HECI to IMEI, and also change the uh, GFX0 to iGPU. So now this uh, will take uh, full advantage of the Intel QuickSync and hardware encoding. Uh, use the RX480 to do the uh, tasks. Uh, the second is the boot. Make sure you take the uh, disable uh, GFX firmware. Now, in terms of the where is it? Where is it? Graphics. Um, take the Radeon uh, D int and make sure you type in this number uh, within the IG platform ID, um, which is five nine one two zero 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 three, and also. Back to devices, um, under the fake ID, Intel GFX, uh, type in the 59128086. All right, guys, so that was the uh, system installation. Hopefully, it was clear enough and simple enough for you guys to follow. All right, this is the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked the video, give a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like the video, you know what to do. And please don't forget to share the video with others and also subscribe to the channel for future video updates. So see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.